dude. How's it going? How's it going? Long time no see, dude. Yeah. You wanna get, get, get a little game going? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, are you even good? <laughs> of course I'm good. Are you good? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's play one on one every time you score two points up. Yeah. Alright, let's go up to 20 points. Alright. So 10, 10 buckets every time you score two points up. And do you want to put money on the line? Sure, do you have money to put on the line? Of course, I have 300 bucks in my wallet. It's, it's inside though. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so let's start off with you put $10 on the line and every time you score, 5%, the, your money is going to increase by 5%. So you're going to multiply by 1.05. Okay. I'm game. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's do go. It. All right. Introducing the first competitor, very technical support. Next we have competitor B, Dennis the Ice Maker Wingood. You won, I crossed you over that. Uh, bit. Yeah, it still hurts, dude. Uh, ow. But, um, yeah, dude, thanks for crossing me up. Otherwise, I would not have. Yeah, you're missing the shots, and after I crossed you over, somehow you started making them. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, um, you got my money? Okay, how much money do I owe you? Uh, well, so we have to use the formula. Um, so we started off with 10. So it'd be 10 times 1.05 to the 9 power because it's n minus 1. So we'd have to do 10 minus 1. So it'd be 9. So that would amount to about. Fifteen dollars and fifty cents. All right, I got fifteen fifty for you. All right, let me count. Ten, five. Oh, thank you very much. But you still can't handle me in football, though. All right? Let me see. Oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> so now we come to what's obviously the most exciting part of the video: math. Now. For our map, what we did was we had an arithmetic sequence and we had a geometric sequence. Now, first question we might be asking is, what's the difference between arithmetic and geometric? Well, in arithmetic sequence, what you do is to get the next term, you add a common difference. For ours, it was 2. So, your first term is 0, so you add on 2. First, second term is going to be 2. Down to again, next term is going to be 4, add on again, it's going to be 6, add on again, it's going to be 8, so on and so forth until you get to how many terms you want. And it can go on infinitely, uh, but for ours, we just had 10 terms, so you end up with 20 as your final term. And for geometric, to get your next term, what you do is you multiply by a common ratio. Now, common ratio for ours was 1.05. So 
So start with your first term, multiply it by 1.05, and keep going until you get your final term. For example, our first term for the geometric was 10, and we multiply it by 1.05, get our second term of 10.5. This kept going again for 10 terms until you get 15.51 as your final term. Now, there's also a difference between a sequence and a series for both of these. Now, a sequence is what I've been telling you. It's just each term followed by another term. And you keep adding on common difference or multiplying by a common ratio to get next term. What a series is, is a series is the sum of each of those terms. So, for example, if we're taking the arithmetic, say our first term is scan 0, second term 2, third term 4, the series for the third term would go to be uh, 6, because 2 plus 4 equals 6. And so, if you do a series for all 10 of terms, what you get is the sum of every term in the sequence up to 10. So, for example, for the arithmetic, you'd add up all those terms, and what you get is 110. For geometric, we add up all those terms, and we get 125.78. And that's about it. Thanks for watching the video.